shipped that to you. He so. to, all he shipped to me was the check, oh, the money man. order, and that treats he sent me. That's why it came in a box. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm in uh, Doug's antique store here, and Picker's he Corner. said he had Picker's Corner in New Matamoros, and he said he had somebody send him a package and then a check. And it's this guy from Peter from Hawaii. And he sent a check to buy me this, this Burkhart Newport Ohio milk. Um, that was a hundred dollars. Um, man, I don't even know what to say. I'll go into more detail in the next clip. I'll have to think about this because I don't even know what to say, man. Thank you. I'm going to have to get something to give away in this guy's honor that sent that milk bottle. Um, man, dude, I really wanted that. But I'm going to get this and... We're going to get, this is going to be one of the giveaway items in this, but thanks, Peter. I'll buy this, this Bunty at Chicago. It's a candy container, and it's really nice. It's really nice condition, and candy-related items are collectible. I like that. It's nice. Later. Um, my mom found this in the store, and this is wool. Navajo. It looks Navajo, yeah. Mark 25, and he's giving it to us for 20. That's pretty nice. We're getting that for us later. All right, I'm going into this Riverview Antiques here on the corner of Front Street. Go in here and look around. We just went to Doug's store. I just had to stop there because he told me he had a package. That's a cool. I find this blue and white Chinese looking stuff, $18 Oriental vase. That's kind of cool for that. But. I uh, went into Doug's because he said I have a package for you, and I thought that's odd. Man, dude, I can't believe you bought me that milk bottle. Unbelievable. That looks like paper mache. It is. Yeah, I thought it was a rattle. That's really cool. little boot I'll look around and the cool stuff I will show you I like that paper mache piece that's very cool it's 85 bucks later I'm in an antique store in Marietta High and this is an awesome old camera look at this Hunter Penrose LTD look at this Now look at it here. It's four hundred and twenty-five dollars. That's very, very nice. Very cool looking piece. Thought I'd show you later. I'll show you the stuff I like. It's a pretty nice old weather vane. With a buck on it. You can see it there, that's nice. Nice one. Later. I like stuff like this too. This is petrified wood. It's a carved turtle out of petrified wood. I think it's $149. That's out of my price range. But I like stuff like that. I thought I'd show you. Um, I'll get back if I see anything else cool. Well, this is one heck of a nice piece here. This is vintage. It's $95. It's a golf little sign, porcelain, and it's great. Look at it. I'll get down through it slow so you can really see it. Now look at the car. Very nice. I thought this was cool. I think it says 175, but I'd say this was made in 1976 for something. The Centennial, and it's all handmade. It's that would be look nice in somebody's room that collects trains. Look at that. That's pretty cool looking. It's kind of like a folk art piece, and it's just old enough to be collectible. That's cool. Later. This is really nice. It's an old metal bank. That's a good price on that. I mean, it's heavy. That's nice. 
It's a nice piece. There's a croc, 195. I'm looking around. Later. There's kind of some cool stuff in these shelves if you look really look at it. Look at these glass cars. I think these are really nice. These are balloon bottles, but I think they're contemporary, but they're just beautiful. Um, look at these old drinking glasses here. I'm back to answer any questions you may have. Northtown, PA. That is nice. Chico Beverage Company. That's beverage related. I'm going to buy that for $12. Phone T33. I want that. It's beverage related. And I'm going to buy it and give it away. This, this is real, like, 40s looking. Kind of reminds me of a black and white movie, or right when they turn color, like a lady in the movie. That's the age of that. That's a really nice looking piece. You could sell that on eBay. That's nice. There's people that collect that kind of stuff that look just like that. It's kind of early Barbie even looking. Look at it. Kind of creepy. I'm heading back to a bottle room. We're just kind of looking at this stuff here on the way. There's pie birds. Later. These are cool. Brass Wolfhound, $9.99. Now look at this ceramic one. Wolfhound, $9.99. That's very cool, huh? this mark made in Japan that would be pre-war Japan I believe that's vintage for sure that's pretty cool looking I'm kind of just looking for little treasures in this stuff I'll get back if I see anything else I like later somebody bought a bunch of the bottles everything's picked over here um, there's a little jumbo peanut butter, one of them little ones, see how much that is, $17.99. Let's see what the Mountain Dew, $17.99, Hillbilly Mountain Dew. What's this one? Parkersburg, West Virginia Coke, I find these all the time, $6.99. That's a quick sell at that price. That won't be here the next time I come. And here's the insulators I picked a lot of the good ones out they still have some nice ones that one's got a little chip on it that's a nice one but already have it huh not much of a bottle selection it's a good thing I got that one at Doug's store that candy container I really like that I'm glad I saw it before and didn't buy it here's some stoneware stuff yeah, I'll get back later. I really like this kind of stuff too. These old feed bags, they look good on a wall with, you know, like a nice cabinet like this one with these feed bags around it and your mason jars. This, this cabinet right here, this book cabinet with this glass in it here is nice. This would be a perfect cabinet to put in like a kitchen and put a whole bunch of mason jars in it, real nice ones. Look at that. That's a beautiful cabinet. Number cabinet is currently not for sale. Display piece. That stinks. I bet you they'd sell it if you called them a. That horse feed bag is very nice with these graphics on it. Look at the knight, like the crusader. Wow. I'll get a picture of that. Cincinnati, Ohio, too. Right there. See how nice these. See, these are $18.99, these big dropped, these are older ball jars. 
with the feed in them and the, like the seeds these look amazing for a kitchen look at them these are old jars they'd look nice in a cabinet like that in the kitchen this place is cut kind of nice back here. You can get all the mason accessories, the old leads that look brand new, and then some of the ones that have been painted and stuff. I like the old looking ones like that were on them jars. These were nice. See, there's bottles and stuff. There's a couple old seltzer bottles, and I'll get back. I've looked at a bunch of stuff in here before. I come here a lot. There's an old potato chip tin. So I just had to come in here. We had to do stuff here. Me and my mom in town, other stuff. There's a lot of cool stuff right on here. Little like advertising piece, Whipple Tavern. Stuff's cool. Later. I like stuff. I like all this cultural stuff. These are beautiful. They're Japanese like panels. These would look nice worked into a panel on a wall, all of them. Look at them. Look at this big jas green jasper airhead of course it's modern it's made in the last five years but it's a pretty cool one made a... this is a new milk i haven't seen in this store it says store bought a white villa let me take it out so you can see it golden guernsey America's Table Milk, Dayton, Ohio. I've never seen that milk, and it's got the three cent. That's pretty nice for an ACL milk. It's got that ring around the top, twenty-four fifty. That's a fair price on that. Like that cabinet I showed you back here with them glass windows in it. Think of how nice it would be filled with milk bottles like that in a kitchen. These milk bottles are desirable. That's a desirable milk. It's nice. I like the red to. I'm looking. That's probably going to be about it. That's pretty cool. Farden's Pure Malt Vinegar. And look, oh man, this is nice. American Telegraph Company Long Distance Telephone Bell System, and it's porcelain, and it's $59. That's a really good price on that. I didn't even see this big porcelain sign. Look at that, a higher department of schools, Atlantic region. But this thing's pretty cool here, this little scale. That's pretty cool. There's another golf tire sign, but it's not old. Um, my mom might buy a lamp. Look at this. Kind of negotiating with a guy. He wants $3.95 for it, but this pole lamp, it's all metal and it's got a bird on it. She likes it and I like it too. Getting down to around 300 right now. You have to work with these dudes a little bit. And I think that's what probably will be. That's pretty nice. Later. Alright, I'm back in. My mom ended up buying this lamp. See this room that's going in. Going right there, it's got this nice little night light on it. I really like that. It's real heavy metal. It's a really nicely made lamp. It's got that bird on it. Let me see it there. I see you some more stuff in the house here, real quick. Hold on. All right, here's some other. This house has a lot of rooms like this. Let me can see. My dad did all this work on the ceilings and stuff. But this is like the library in this house. Uh, these are all vintage books. There's lots of good ones here, first editions and stuff. Lots of history book first editions. And some, you know, like To Kill a Mockingbird, I've got that first edition. Several other good books up there. 
There's like the old fireplace my dad redid this. This is how this is a Civil War era at home. See, I like the antique furniture just like my mother does. There's just lots of stuff here. It's like an antique store. That's why I like going into the antique stores and that's why I know a lot about this kind of stuff. Because like my parents are into all of this old stuff. Look at just some of these cabinets, all the old clocks and stuff. Just all this kind of stuff in this house. Well anyway, I'll get back at you. I'm on one of the next videos. We'll be giving away an item in this one. That little candy container. There's a nice clock up here. Mano clock. Later, folks. All right. I had to come home and... Look here! Who's this? All right. Some little dog had to get let out. But these are the two items I got to give away in this video. They're both, like, you know, bottle collecting related. And they're both kind of unique. This is a candy container. The Bunty Candy uh, Company from Chicago. It's blown. You know, this would have had a little, like, tin top on it. And little pellet candies would have come in this. And it's a beautiful thing. It's got bubbles in it. It's just aqua. It's a, I'd be a day maker if you was digging for that. Just a beautiful piece. Kind of a crossover piece between bottles and candy. And I also got this. And it's a beverage company. Chico Beverage Company, Norristown, PA, phone 233, which the phone number being on there and any being three digit really makes it. And that's a really cool looking plate. And you can see here who made it. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So all you need to do to win these two items is comment on this video and subscribe to the channel. And I do this a lot. Ship them out priority mail and I'll include a few bottles that I've dug on my channel like some old cokes and you know just stuff that I've got so many of that I need to give away. Some maybe a mason jar who knows. But I'll, I'll fill up the box. I'll put this in like a large flat rate box and whatever else room there is. It'll just be like a surprise for you. Well I hope you enjoyed the video and then good luck on the items. Later. Well, here's this milk. This is an extremely rare milk, especially with the capper. Very small town. Um, there's not even a stoplight in this town. It's a small Ohio Valley River town. And it's even smaller than the new Matamoros where I got this. Um, never see this one again. This is something local and I needed it and couldn't afford to buy it that day. And man, I can't believe you did this. I can use this on my channel forever. You can see it a Burkhart M Burkhart Newport Ohio you know that's like realistically $175 milk Doug had it price rated at 100 and I should have bought it and a YouTube subscriber called the store well he sent Doug a package of stuff and then called the store and sent a check and bought this milk for me to give to me and Doug called me while I was in the dump and just said yesterday and said oh i got a package here for you and i thought that was odd i thought somebody might have just didn't know my dress and sent you know something there but man dude i can't believe it well contact me down here i'll definitely get you out something and we'll, we'll see if you have a channel what i need to do here this is unbelievable dude i can't believe it i'll be able to show you this in videos for years to come um it's a milk you're not going to see very often try to find this for sale later